Greetings to you all uh, smart farmers out there. Welcome to Farm Smart South Africa. Um, so today we're going to be talking about one of the most problematic things which is weeds in vegetables because there are no chemicals that are registered directly for use in vegetables. So we have to see now how do we then integrate chemical usage um, in vegetable production in order to cut some labor costs because we know what's happening in the farming right now industry. Labor costs keep on going up so we have to be smart about how do we cut those costs. So today we're going to be talking about what chemicals do we use and how do we apply those chemicals to make sure that we do not compromise the main crop in the field. So mainly today we're going to be using a chemical called the Chlor uh, 500. Uh, I'm going to post the chemical also uh, and also we're going to be showing you what tools to use and also how do we then use those tools because this technique is very used it's not popularly used by people but it's very effective and you can cut your labor costs um, between uh, 40 to 60 percent depend on, depending on how uh, useful to use this technique so basically what we want to do here is because as you can see that there are weeds here what you want to do is that you want to spray only the weeds that are in between the rows so that you know that you cut all that job and just come and weed in between the rows so uh follow me i'm going to show you right now the chemical and i'll show you also on how do you um spray the chemical um so today we're going to be using this chemical called uh Eclor, as you can see the disclaimer there, there is a suspension herbicide. It's both for pre-emergence and early emerging weeds. Uh, so it controls grasses basically on broccoli, cabbages, canola and other plants. Basically on all the broad leaves plants. So today we're going to be using it um, in combination with our guard. So what the guard is supposed to do is that it's supposed to be here in between the lines to cut the chemicals from spraying um, the actual plant. Yeah, so guys, we are all set and ready to go. We have our Claw 500 on the on the knapsack. This is the guard that I was talking about that you would use and you want it to uh, go in between lines and not touch the plants, just to prevent the chemical from drifting into the plants. One important point is that you don't want to do this on a windy day. It's gonna be a nightmare. So this is what you're doing. This thing, they don't usually sell it uh, with the knapsack. So it's a side accessory that they sell. So, um, the cameraman might want to move right now. This is how we are trying to clean up actually, making sure that it does not touch the plants. So, when you're doing this, you want a very steady hand. You want a person that is very focused and the person that is going to be having a very steady hand so that the chemical goes in between the rows, not into the plants. But also you want to do this with a contact fungicide, uh, contact herbicide because you want to avoid systematic herbicides because usually what they will do is that they will get taken up by the plants and then they kill the whole entire plants. But with contact, contact herbicide will just kill whatever they touch. If they touch a small patch, they will kill only that patch. Uh, so this is how we do this farmers. Make sure that you get this. I'll try to talk. To to these other guys and see if i can get this thing for whoever is interested i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to attach a link where you can buy it online but i'll try to do as much as i can so another point i wanted to make for you guys is that the spacing ideally here should be like 50 centimeters um, uh, in between plants but if you happen to have a smaller spacing in between the plants you have an option of tilting the sprayer like this so as to not to spray the plants if you can see now by doing this i'm able to uh, get into smaller spaces by just tilting uh, this thing but once you get a point where you can be able to spray straight you can but you just maneuver this to make sure that you do not spray the main plant you're always focusing on the weeds um, i'll keep you in progress i'll keep you in check with the progress on on instagram thank you um thank you so much for the session uh please subscribe like share um and thank you very much